all people out there who are watching Fatress TV. Uh, here where we are, we are at Wanyange Girls, it is in the Soga, Eastern region. So today, as Fatress TV, you know very well that uh, whoever is in need to watch this television, you just go to YouTube, you find it there, then on Twitter, still you find it there. The same as on TikTok, all those uh, platforms, you will find us. I'm Farouk Twistje, uh, like how I told you, I work with Fatwest TV. Now, today, where we are, we are with uh, the, ad the deputy HM uh, admin. He will be telling us a lot and a lot. You know, today, uh, results are out. So he will be telling us through that, even the development of the school, uh, like how you will hear uh, different questions. You are welcome, uh, deputy. Thank you. I'm um, Mr. Bogere Sanoni Moses, Deputy Ed Teacher, Administration of the Mighty School, Wanyang Girls Secondary School. Here today, we are celebrating the good performance of our school, Senior Six Results 2023. They were so good, and we balanced the good the performance in both arts and sciences. The best was a scientist, a science student called Akelo Deborah who scored 18 points. Got A in math, A in art, and C in physics. Then passed the subsidiary subjects. The second to her was uh, an art student uh, by the name Navidi Angela Duffin. Got 17 points. Go, was doing history, literature, geography. She also passed well the subsidiaries. And then we have three others who followed uh, Angela with 16 points and their uh, arts best combinations. Senior four, our best got 88. We got 75 first grades, first grades 56 uh, second grades. That is, was so fantastic. And uh, uh, they, they scored very many D1s or distinctions, even in the in theory, uh, field of sciences. Actually, many have taken on BCM, PCB, and so on. Combinations are at a level. Mm, no, I would maybe say we don't have many challenges, except um, when to come, the one which is administrative, we have many teachers who are not on government payroll. Yes. So we ask the government to really think about it. How has it been significant to the society? Oh, the school. The school is significant to the society. Why? Because those who cannot afford to pay high fees like 4 million, 5 million, elsewhere, they bring their students, their, their daughters here and we teach them at that fee I mentioned. And they are very, very, very happy with that. The advantages of this school is the location. Location of this school is really, I mean, favors academic growth and stability. Because we are not here, we are isolated in, on our land, every, every, everywhere you see. Uh, here at Wanyange, we are multitasked and we are action pack programs that enable a learner to achieve to maximum, actually to excel. We, we even the new curriculum based uh, curriculum type of the new curriculum based teaching, we are doing it very well. And uh, all our learners from senior one to four, we are sure they will be ready for this new curriculum assessment because we are there. We, the teachers have undergone trainings and we are implementing what we have learned from those trainings to impart knowledge to our learners, the new competence-based curriculum. Here, we do a lot, each day in, each day out. Actually, we are busy Monday to Sunday or Monday to Monday with well-planned programs for um, we're starting from prep time in the morning and prep time in the evening and then even weekend we plan for them very well. I would like to appreciate the Board of Governors, PTA, the head teacher who is, the head, who is our team leader, 
uh, colleagues, the staff members, non-teaching and support staff, the, the, the learners also. We want to appreciate them for the cooperation, for taking in what we always impart in on them. So please, dear parents, we have, we have not forgotten you. Thank you for the support you have given to the, uh, to the daughters. And here we are celebrating. Even we are still at the meeting, senior five, if you are lagging behind there, wait, waiting or wondering where you are going to, to where you are going to place your daughter for a level education, here we are, one young girls, we call upon you. By the way, this performed well not because they were all first graders, but some even fourth grade. But I want to assure you, we don't even have an F9 or a failure in, on our result sheet. And all of them um, are going to be absorbed in the universities when admission time comes. So that is one young girl secondary school. I think you've heard the way how he has told us. Can you give us a, a, a background of one young you start mm. the day it started mm. like mm. a year. Mm. Uh, tell the people who are watching. Yes, uh, when young girls secondary school started um, under the organization of Busoga College, Busoga College. Um, the now we had Busoga College one young, Busoga College Mwiri. Busoga College Mwiri was for boys wing, and then Busoga College one young girls wing. That was way back in 1959 or actually which crossed to 1960. So we celebrate all these years of existence and it is a um, Protestant or Anglican founded school. We have a chaplain, a sitting chaplain, and we are so much affiliated to the Bishop of Usoga and therefore the Diocese of Usoga. So that means we are strong at religion or we are strong at faith and uh, that gives us this, or oh, leads us to this result we are celebrating today. We are God fearing. We empower a girl child, we empower a girl child to fit in a global village. Yes. Then, what is your say about the teacher? You know, there are some teachers who are paid highly, and there is even another class that is not paid highly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, 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 that uh, difference between science and the uh, arts in terms of remuneration has not affected us here. Why? Because there is enough sensitization and our colleagues in the arts department have been requested to wait until the appropriate time comes when they also uh, get on board. They are, I want to appreciate them, the arts teachers, they are patient and uh, actually the school is planning to get a way to make them fit in this economy. Mm. There are some schools which are dependent a lot of money. Oh! And because we see Parliament is now coming, yes. say that uh, you reduce on Yes, this. yes. No, for us we are cheap. Because yeah, somebody joining us in senior one and senior five pays one million and three hundred thousand shillings, including all the uniforms. That is for term one. Term two it reduces to nine hundred thousand shillings. And yet the menu is okay in the dining hall. Uh, all facilitation is good. You can even see this is evidenced in the health exhibited by the girls, as you see them pass by. Mm. Okay, what could be your last message to, to your parents and teachers? Okay, uh, my last message, one, maybe to the categories, one, I really continue to play upon the girls to work hard and challenge even this result. In other words, we want them to produce even much more better result than we are celebrating today. We would like to thank the parents and encourage them to always uh, ed educate a girl child because educate a, a girl child, you educate the nation. Uh, to other communities like media, I'm really very happy to interact with my brother here for this TV, 
for looking out for these uh, to celebrate with the people their achievements like uh, they are celebrating with the Wanyanga Secondary School. Yeah, this one is our home economics lab. Actually, these are the skills that we impart, some of the skills we impart to our learners here at Wanyanga. Actually, it is uh, a vocation here. Mm. The classroom blocks and our garden is part of the garden, even the other side. We, 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 we also teach the girls the skills of agriculture and educate them on the benefits of agriculture, which is one of the key or key background for um, our economy. That is our senior four block. Um, I would say our me, uh, the block that manufactures good results. The candidates study from there. Mm. Our library, actually the, scene, the main library, where girls sit and uh, research, do research, in addition to the computer lab, the other side. So I, I would say it is a very good, good, good and important asset of the school. So this is our chapel and main hall. All our big functions are held here, but of course the main one being um, praising the Lord. But, and then assemblies and then um, all, all big functions and gatherings are held in the hall here. Even visitors are hosted here. Uh, by the way, this hall has ever hosted very, very important people in the country. Or even the First Lady, uh, Her Excellency, and the Minister for Education and Sports. Uh, recently, we had um, the Honorable Kasule Rumomba, we had the Honorable Kazibwe, we had uh, all um, the strong and and the uh, senior army officers when they came to train on patriotism kafande masiko was here afande odauku was here afande uh, karokora was here and many 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 others the whole of eastern busoga uh, came here to to attend that function and uh, we also host especially uh, just the, 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 the judici members of the judiciary and the other professions to empower the girls on those uh, professions such that they know that when, when you take on a certain combination, it leads you to a certain walk of life. People who are watching Fatwes TV, I think you are hearing the way how uh, deputies trying to explain. But can you tell us some OGs who have ever studied from this school mm -hmm. from uh, 19... You said it started around, 54, 44. Around 1959. Okay, now start from <laughs> there. Some OGs <laughs> who mean a lot to the country. Okay. Um, we have um, uh, Lady Naginda, Lady Naginda, started from here. Uh, the IGG started from here also, some classes. Uh, then there's a lineup of the justices. The justices, uh, here. Um, then also the personal secretary to the first lady, um, lady, lady Kauma, was, uh, is also an OG here, and many others. There were another strong asset which is a well-kept compound, and large and well-kept compound, where the children can, you know, perform all activities uh, without any congestion. Actually, uh, they say all the worker without a play mix, the dollar boy, or a dialogue girl this time, but you can see for us we have this is just part, but where we started from, all those are 
na leisure recreation and um, academic programs can be performed mm. then over there is our dispensary we we are not worried of first aid we have three well trained staff there and the part of that is uh, the staff quarters part of the staff quarters yes in the other side we have our means of transport our buses that's uh, that's one of the buses we have we have two buses yes and that is our park yard for receiving students uh, on a reporting days so this side of the road yeah this side of the road mainly the main features are the students dormitories eh? and this one is the first one called the river nile river nile dormitory then we go to owen falls dormitory we go to 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 Lake Choga, uh, Alubat, uh, Lake Victoria, Range Renzori, and then eh, Masaba. Yes. So this one is the computer lab, eh? one of the computer labs that we have. Mm. This one is the, um, our home management and foods lab. Uh, next to the computer, one of the computer labs, and you, as you can see, all those enable the, the, the learners to acquire real multi-task skills that uh, can even assist them outside the school life. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, here we are in the magnificent field, actually multi-purpose playground as you can see uh, girls come here and you know do the football the volleyball and so on but i want to request that uh, the games the co-curricular master say something more than that mm. okay my name is uh, natima michael the head of co-curricular one young girls and uh, every evening we're always busy like this uh, with the girls uh, trying to see that we take them through many of, of these activities that we see and uh, it is one thing that is helping them you know uh, the developers holistic girls remember uh, one of our people is to develop a girl who is uh, holistic uh, who is not only looking at academics but also excelling as far as vocal is concerned so that's where we are now oh the, yes we have uh, volleyball we have uh, Football, we also have uh, football, as you are seeing. And the handball. There's also handball, the other side. Yes. And then some other indoor games, uh, like table tennis. Uh, some also play uh, the long, long tennis. We also have those who play chess and uh, scrub among others. Then over there is the patriotism rehearsal. Uh, you can see the guards there, guard one up to guard ten. That's our senior one and senior five training for patriotism. Just as you see me, today I'm patriotic. This is how I've decided it to be in my patriotism attire. And now, uh, this one is a season for S1s and S5s to be initiated, oriented, um, oriented into uh, loving their country and uh, working hard, serving their nation diligently and we teach them to uh, do away with those weird behavior and character like corruption, like what, gayism and so on. All that we talk about it. Mm.
change the hand, middle, middle, change the hand. Swing higher. Swing higher. That change you are too weak. What did? Ah, uh, one or two we are just almost waiting for that day. <laughs> Five guard move! Mm. Right now, as Adam came to me asking, I mm. covered him with God. Mm. We had six by eight. Mm. Six by eight in a game and gave a couple of another game. I'm going five by three mm. plus one. Now, you have a little bit of a very unparried. Ah, uh -huh. but if I be able to get a call of your way, oh, just over a cost of money and parried in Uncle Sawa, but a chance of all. Catty. What was it six by three? Mm. What was it five by three? Mm -hmm. like including the commander, mm. you just add on one. Mm. But I think let us count 18. 18 19. Pa, 19, hmm? 19 per guard or 18? Yeah. 19. The other ones are 30. But I'm going to say 10. 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 Okay. I'm going to say 10. I'm going to say 10. Kakati tugenda kutesa ku uniform Gwe tugenda kukola Kupanga tulina kala zinga Musambu T-shirts mm. Yes mm. Yeah. Oh So over there That is the cyber lab Where we, we, we Where we take the, We take the learners to See or view uh, From uh, assimilated Program uh, 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 practicals eh? or experiments on on YouTube on TV, okay, and it enhances learning because a learner will be seeing what happens during a process. And then these ones are the three labs for physics, biology, and chemistry. This one is another classroom block for senior one and two. Okay. Yes, um, this one is our dining hall where the learners take their meals from at a time like now. Actually, they are busy there now. Then um, with those, the others are canteens where they buy some stuff to, uh, some food stuff. I mean, no, they like supplements, even escort for tea. The canteens are about six of them. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, okay, can can you know? mm. Yes. Uh, so as I said, the, these are the canteens. Eh? Uh, there are about six of them. There's one there. There's one here. There's one down there. Yes. Mm. They 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 are very useful because the girls can buy their chapatis, sambosas. Uh, v greens like that. Mm. Uh, then you see this is a continuation of the dormitories. This is a continuation of the dormitories. That one particularly is for form one, the other for form five, the other form six, and then form three. Yes. Mm. Compound? Uh, yeah. We are also embarking on paving the compound, as you can see. At this, this street around the office, around the offices, is finished. Where we are standing is the next target. We shall take it up to the field and up to the domain. Yes, so uh, this is our water uh, reservoir. Oh, water retention. So there are three of them. And they store a lot of water for the for us on the entire hill. 
Yes. So we have three water reservoirs here and then two others down there. And we no longer have any water crisis here on the hill. It is, the, the water is enough for us all with our students. Out of the staff quarters over there. And uh, we cater for three quarters of the staff members reside on the hill, as you can see over there. And we have uh, efficient power supply here by Umeme, but we have also our standby generator. This is our 50 kVA uh, power generator, uh, which can sub actually would not can, but it supplies power for all of us on the on the state. That is the classrooms, the dormitories, the staff quarters. It is very very enough. Mm. which can supply us with the power in case there is load shedding or there is any other fault on Umeme. This firewood here is harvested from our forest that we planted ourselves and it is doing us good. At least now um, we don't have pressure for firewood. This is just our newly harvested uh, firewood from our forest down there as you can see it. Yes. <clears throat> uh, this one is our banana plantation. Though the place is rocky, we do a lot of manuring and uh, at least the bananas, the bananas can grow. As you can see, they are very healthy. Hmm. Tell your friends to go for supper, they are about to lock. Hey, announce that very fast. <laughs> Patriotism Square. Hmm. Uh, yes, uh, so where we are, this is Patriotism Square. That's, as you see, the flag poles there. And then um, this is the staff room, then the offices for those deputies, HM, BASA, and the other deputy there also. Then, then we have also our chess, chess tables here, where girls relax, a break time, lunch time, and after classes. And that is a mind game. No wonder that's why they are excelling. Uh, uh, they are excelling because of these mind games which uh, facilitate their critical thinking. Mm.